Welcome to Go Get It. Continuing with the previous session on C programming language, we'll discuss few more problems based on the operator's precedence and associativity. So let's directly jump into the problems. So we have been given here few uh, snippets of code, and we will be seeing uh, how uh, increment operator and the operator's associativity with precedence, uh, I mean, works. So uh, here we are going to see the grouping of uh, operators based on the precedence. So uh, while solving the problems, uh, basically uh, what happens is generally we need to group the operators based on the precedence because sometimes it happens that uh, same precedence and with lesser or more precedence comes into the same statement. So we'll see grouping of operators with operands based on precedence rules. So very first problem is this one. You can see here the expression given is plus plus x plus plus y with separated by the conditional or and and. So uh, this particular statement will be uh, solved in this way, like uh, plus plus x will be considered one set, then or and then plus plus y and then ampersand plus plus z. So these are say, let's say a, b and c. Again, as ampersand has the higher precedence, so we'll write a or b ampersand c this makes one group and consider this complete group as a ampersand d. So we have a ampersand d where d denotes b ampersand c and individually b denotes plus plus y, c denotes plus plus z. So in this case, as you can see the bitwise or, or uh, logical or has a left to right uh, precedent, uh, associativity. So we'll solve a first and a is nothing but plus plus x that gives you x is initialized to 1 as it is a pre-increment operator so x becomes 1 as uh, which is equals to a so a is 1 and 1 or d so what happens here is directly uh, printf will display here 1 without evaluating d so what i meant to say is here uh, d is not evaluated that means b and c this operation completely is not evaluated due to the short circuit rule. I hope you are well aware of the short circuit rule. The short circuit rule says that if in any condition, say for example, we have uh, A and ampersand B, where A is one, that means true, ampersand B, and uh, with with the this uh, uh, ampersand, uh, you must have been um, aware of the states of uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, what happens. So if it is true, so what compiler does is it does not execute B because anything ends with true is always one or true. So that's why compiler ignores this B condition to execute. Similar is the case with or. So one or anything, say anything, it can be anything, one or zero, one or zero, it will always be one. Okay, so this, this is with respect to the uh, logical and and or. So that is come that comes under the uh, short circuit rules, and hence a is equals to one and d is not evaluated. So uh, when you do this printf statement, so it will print x is incremented to. Sorry, this this is not one. This is two, or, or two or one, but it will print one because two is uh, not zero and it will print true. So true is nothing but one. So x will be printed as two, and y and z will remain unaffected, and it will print. 211 so the output of this particular snippet will be 1211 similarly now let's uh, look into this uh, another set of problem so here you can see again we'll do a grouping so this will make one group and this will make one group so we'll solve in this case because ampersand has uh, as uh, will make a group based on the ampersand here and as or operator goes from left to right so we'll execute uh, we'll compile this or we'll process this uh, particular set of uh, instructions so plus plus x gives you x is 1 so 2 ampersand so again it is true so it won't uh, execute your uh, plus plus y so this is true or plus plus z so if it is true plus plus z will get executed uh, just a second uh, 2 and d 
and uh, this will print ah uh, this will print you one here and the final output would be your two two one so z won't be executed as uh, uh, this this is true plus plus y will give you so the final output will be one two two and one so this will be the final output of this particular code snippet now let's jump into the next problem we have plus plus x ampersand plus plus y ampersand plus plus z so in this case again uh, we'll make the grouping and uh, with the grouping what we will get is say um, you have uh, if we group these these two and this so ultimately what will happen on the solution is we'll get the solution as 1 2 2 so in this case what will happen all the uh, x uh, all the operands i mean uh, x y and z will get incremented and finally the output will become 1 and uh, then 2 2 and 2 so this will be the output of this function and now jumping into the next problem is what it says we have x y z equals to minus 1 so uh, this is minus 1 this is again minus 1 this is minus 1 so here again if you see uh, with the grouping thing if you group we'll have a ampersand b kind of thing here also a ampersand b and amper uh, or c this complete makes d or c so we'll execute d first so uh, a is uh, plus plus x so plus plus x gives you 0 0 ampersand p is nothing but so again uh, here you can see that your b won't get executed as it is false so anything i mean false ampersand anything 1 or 0 is always false so b won't get executed and a that is plus plus x x will become 0 then uh, it will execute c c is nothing but plus plus z so y becomes minus 1 and your z becomes 0 so uh, what will be the result of this is we will get here 0 minus 1 0 it will print 0 minus 1 and 0 now moving on to this problem this is somewhat different than the other problems i hope you are well uh, got the uh, concept behind the grouping of operator based on the operands precedence and associativity so we have x is equal to 3 here now you can see here we have x minus 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 triple one so here you can see that i have given a space here to uh, make you understand but don't get confused in the exam they uh, it happens generally that they won't give any space you have to determine so this is nothing but a post increment operator and this is the simple minus operation so you can see the um, post increment or post decrement operator has a higher precedence over minus so first of all this post increment will get executed so x will remain 3 so 3 minus triple 1 gives you minus 108 and printf xz will give you this printf will print uh, sorry this printf will print you uh, as it is decrement operator so 2 and z is minus 108 so this will be the printf statement for this so i hope you are clear with the rest of the problems i have given three problems here for your uh, just for practice kind of so uh, i am just giving you the direct answers here for this problem the answer would be uh, the answer would be here 3 9 and 27 and for this case uh, the answer would be 6 2 1 6 and for this case the answer would be 6 0 and 2 so i hope uh, this uh, particular set of uh, videos have made have made your concept clear about the operator's precedence and associativity thanks for listening keep watching uh, have a great day